What up my fellow dorks, the Turtle Dork here with a new reaction for you. Uh, so this one I have for you is Pitch Perfect 3. Um, so a little bit of history. The first Pitch Perfect movie, which I, uh, I, I love that movie. It's really, really good. And it was a surprise, um, a, a surprise discovery for me. I came across that film on cable, on TV of some sort and uh came, came across the film watched it loved it and uh the second one came out and I, I didn't see it for whatever reason i just maybe because of just there were other things that came out during the summer it was probably other things i wanted to see more and then the reviews came out and it was getting mixed reviews and i was just like eh, i'll catch it later never came around to really watching it so i still haven't come around to watch pitch perfect three Pip, uh, pitch perfect two um, directed by Elizabeth Banks, who also plays Rita Repulsa in Power Rangers on DVD now. Go get it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so Pitch Perfect 3. Uh, I'm not really expecting a lot, although I was completely charmed by that first film. Uh, it's not one of these type of franchises where I'm like, oh, I can't wait for the next one. So I'm hoping from what I heard about the second movie, maybe in with this third film it can kind of harken back to that charm from the first film who knows let's see so let's go ahead and check out the trailer for pitch perfect three it's a camera <laughs> The Barton Bell is an unlikely group of not men who somehow uh. managed to win at something that didn't have to do with baking. I can hear you. <laughs> they graduated college and spread their wings without attempting to fly. The five players delight with a shot of white privilege. <laughs> shot of white privilege. Yeah, yeah, funny. Them to be. I feel really good about where I'm at right now. I'm trying to get into vet school. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Wow. Where oh. are they now? <laughs> my name is Bert Amy Winehouse. So let's get cracking. I quit my job. You know, fine. No, I quit. It's fine. Oh, come on. This is no reaction. I would do anything to sing with you guys again. Anything. You guys, every year the USO puts on this performance to support the troops in Europe. What if I could get us an invite? Yeah, I've suddenly got a bunch of free time, so... Hell yeah! Here we go, here we go. It's my turn to make history. Guys, we've never competed against bands that actually have instruments, so what's the plan? Uh, Serenity, veracity, and charity. If I joined your group, I could be obesity. <laughs> here we go, here we go. No, 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 no. Another day on stage for the Bellows. This is their big plummet. Their fade out. Into nothingness. You sure about this? Am I ever let you down? All the time. You're very unreliable. It's like one of the hallmarks of your personality. Are you not remembering all the times I've been awesome? trailer um it's got a couple funny bits in there um i mean it, it the story feels like it's it's going where you would think that it would go after you know the the first two films leading into this film with you know them being out of college looking for jobs not really um finding success in the workforce and then having to bring the band back together for one last tour um yeah, it's got all the tropes that you would expect from a third film in the franchise. But, uh, yeah, the comedy just did not hit. And Rebel Wilson is, uh, I don't know, man. Like, for her to kind of be the butt of the jokes, especially with, like, a lot of these fat jokes, I, I, this, that stuff is getting old, man. Like, 
that just it feels that feels so like ten years ago, like those type of jokes and the physical comedy. It's I mean her jumping off the boat and then hitting the other boat. That's a funny gag. It's a funny sight gag. But why does it have to? I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess that's just that's just me, man. Like like I said, comedies lately just have not been hitting. Um, even for trailers, this the comedies have just just I don't know what it is. It's these kind of generic uh, studio comedies that that uh, that Hollywood is kind of churning out, whether it's Baywatch or something like this or Rough Night or any of these like R-rated raunchy type comedies, they just don't seem to be working, well, at least for me. Um, I can't speak for anyone else. But um, anyway, that's a, that's, a, that's a rant I can get into and I'm not going to do that for this reaction. The thing is, this trailer is meh at best. Um, the movie could still be good, decent. Uh, we don't know. Like I said, this is just a trailer, but based on this, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, let me know what you thought of the trailer in the comments below. Go ahead, rate, like, subscribe, and share. And go ahead and check out my other dorks at Mouth Dork, at The Disco Dork, and at Sidewalk Siren. And as for me, I am The Turtle Dork. And with that, <laughs> I'm out.